There's a new movie that rolls into Seattle this weekend. Esperanto explores the extreme world of mountain biking and how riders on all corners of the globe share a universal language. We're joined today by one of the stars of the film who lives right here in Western Washington. Welcome to New Day, Hannah Bergman. Great Good to night. have you. Amazing, amazing film. Um, and I'm wondering how you got to be a part of it. Here you are, you come from uh, Bellingham mm -hmm. originally, and suddenly you are on big screens in dramatic fashion all over the place, all over the world. People are going to be able to see Hannah Bergman. Where, how did this, what was your journey from yeah. Bellingham to this? Yeah, it's a bit of a wild journey, but um, I moved up to Bellingham to attend university in 2015 and mm -hmm. was just spending every spare minute I had riding my bike um, just because I love mountain biking. It's one of my passions and it really just escalated from there. That's wild. So how long, how many years does it take to get to your level? Um, I've been doing it um, for about seven years. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could barely, uh, you know, as a kid, I could barely ride a bike for a while. I, I have my own issues. And then, um, but then at some point I realized you can take your bike someplace other than the street. You can, oh look, I can dr take it down this little hill mm -hmm. on the side of the neighbor's yard. Um, is that kind of how it starts? Do you, yeah, totally. you just realize you can? Yeah, we build little jumps in the front yard and then um, I was lucky enough to grow up in uh, Hood River, Oregon, which has access to mountain biking. Mm -hmm. um, so my dad introduced it to me at a pretty young age and then gave me a hand-me-down mountain bike when I was in high school. That's great. And what, one thing I really <laughs> love about this movie is uh, a lot of extreme or action sport kind of films seem very male. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, there are guys in this film, but there are also a lot of young women like mm -hmm. yourself. Um, is that something that kind of you enjoyed about the project is being yeah. able to show off what look what women on this side of the sport can do? Totally, yeah. I mean, mountain biking and action sports in general are s typically super male dominated. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's pretty amazing to have such a like powerhouse cast of female athletes in this film that are featured and like really showcase their riding in a to a broad stage. These are some of the best riders in the world we see in this mm -hmm. film then, right? Yeah, definitely. And uh, we were talking a little bit before the show about how this reminds me so much of the Warren Miller ski mm -hmm. films, where you can just sit back and be immersed in these incredible, you know, the, the work that these incredible athletes do, but in a way where the landscape is as much yeah, totally. part of the picture, and yep. it's just beautiful to watch, too. And you, yours was in Utah, is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we were in Virgin, Utah, which is sort of known in the free ride world as like the mecca of free ride mountain biking. Oh, cool. So take me inside that process. <clears throat> what, what was it you were challenged to do, and then mm -hmm. what did the filmmakers have to do to capture it? Yeah, so um, we were in Virgin, Utah, um, and the landscape there is super unique. It um, has these wild cliffs and these beautiful mesas, so you're riding on these exposed ridges. Um, so you're really trying to work with the camera crew to perform your best, to ride at your highest level when it matters. So like when the camera's rolling, when the light's good, and it's a bit of a collaborative process working yeah. with the film crew to get the best outcome that you can. I feel almost guilty because the viewer the viewer experience, you just sit there and you enjoy it <laughs> like a great piece of music where you don't think about everything that goes into the mm -hmm. production and, and how hard you're working because you make it look easy. You just look like a superhero who's flying, <laughs> you know, and the and the cinematography is spectacular as, as people could see in some of those shots there. So what's next for you now that you've got this world stage? Yeah, yeah. Um, just planning the next thing. I, spending time riding my bike and having a good time and then trying to think of the next project or event to be a part of traveling cool places to ride my bike and I yeah. wish I had an extraordinary <laughs> skill man that sounds like the best so so it's a great way to see the world I Definitely, guess yeah awesome and then how can people see the film um, you can see it if you're in the Seattle area it's gonna be playing on July 19th at the Mountaineers um, mm -hmm. and then if you're in the Bellingham area at Mount Baker Theater on the 20th um, but you can buy tickets on Teton Gravity Research website um, and also see where other film locations will be that's great it must be really worth it to see it in person and mm -hmm. up on a screen yeah definitely and also to share I bet there's some energy in the room when mm -hmm. that when that hits the screen yeah right? absolutely amazing okay thank you so much yeah, and thank uh, you. best of luck to you and to your career <laughs> and I hope the movie does great I hope you all go out and see it it's an awesome film